Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you've been to my channel, my name is Beverly. Um, and I'm going to do kind of a get ready with me. By the way, ignore my messy house. I have a two-year-old. Uh, I'm going to do a get ready with me today with you guys. Kind of chit-chat, maybe catch up. I know it's been a while since I kind of sat down and filmed. <laughs> um, but life's been crazy. The kids have been on Christmas break, which makes it... <clears throat> ugh. Anyway, makes it really hard to film, so here I am. Um, I'm going to just do like kind of my go-to, what I've been doing lately kind of look. Um, I'm pretty much living out of makeup bags right now because I tend to do my makeup at work because I just don't have time at home 90% of the time with the baby. Um, I will be right back. I need to go wet my beauty blender and I'll be able to. Alright, I have wet my beauty sponge, um, let's get started. So, lately I've been working a lot, which is just, uh, I officially have been at my job for a year, which is awesome, I actually really like my job, this is the first job I've had in a really long time, that I truly like working there, <clears throat> which, I don't know, I'm very picky, so, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup <laughs> Foundation in the shade N3 Natural Buff, which is actually slightly too dark for me right now, um, because, sorry, my neighbor is outside, he's really nosy. Anyway, it's a little too dark for me right now, but I'm cheap, so we're going to make it work. And I'm just going to use my beauty blender for that. Oh, I did not prime my face. I think I'm not really going anywhere today. I did not prime, and I always freaking prime. <laughs> I've been using... I've been using. Let me find it here. Give me a moment. It's a tiny tube, so bear with me here. Oh, there it is. Okay, sorry. I've been using the No Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. Uh, hides pores and wrinkles, which actually is kind of nice, but I definitely have to use a moisturizer before I use it. Not because it's drying or anything like that, I just have awful dry skin, which I think I've told you guys before. Oh my gosh, I haven't not used a primer in a really, really long time, so this feels really <laughs> weird to me. I guess I could mix a primer into my foundation. We'll wait. Sorry, I'm so quiet. I, uh, I don't know. I just am quiet when I'm doing my makeup. <laughs> Not hear my movie in the background. It's like obnoxiously obnoxious right now. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am having horrible dry skin around my lips, and obviously you can see my foundation like really does not match right now. Winter problems. <laughs> so bad. Oh well, I'm not going anywhere so. Well, I have to go shopping, but... So how was your guys' New Year? I didn't really do much. I normally never do, um... Like, we never... I don't think I've ever actually been out to, like, a New Year's party or out to a bar or anything on New Year's. I'm just not a huge bar person. Like, I enjoy going every now and then, but I don't know. I. I had fun. We just hung out on the couch with the kids. Joshua actually took a nap before New Year's hit, which was funny. Um, normally the 
kids are the first ones to fall asleep, but this time it was him. And then for my concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline New Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer. Whatever. The Age Rewind Concealer. And mine is in Light Pale. It's um, pale. And hopefully this will help lighten up my foundation a little bit because y'all know you girls do not this tan. Apparently I was in the summer. Which, I don't feel like I was that tan, but I guess I was. Yeah, I guess I was. Maybe I should scoot in a little closer to each other. And I'm just going to take the other side of my beauty blender. Excuse my disgusting beauty blender, I have not washed it in a little bit. Because, like I said, you girls lazy. Not necessarily just lazy, I just never have time. I'm surprised I have time to film this. Luckily, the baby is asleep, and I should be folding laundry. But instead, I'm filming. I wish that I could be one of those like beauty bloggers that just can devote all their time into filming and like devote their days to filming and doing beauty vlogger type things but I just I just don't have the time and I don't have the money to do that and you know first world problems here my skin is so dry I hate the winter guys I hate it <clears throat> I kind of hate the summer too though because it's too hot I don't know I'm just so picky Pretty big person. No, I'm not. Um, to prime my eyelids, I'm going to use the NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Base. Or eyeshadow with primer. I like this one because it's slightly colored and it does get tacky. And it's cheap. And I'm cheap. <laughs> so. I don't know. I just don't. I'm not one of those people that can see spending, you know, $30 or whatever on a primer or things like that. When I have three kids that, you know, I'd rather put the money towards my kiddos and, I don't know. I, I tend to feel guilty if I spend too much money on myself. I'm sure other moms out there can definitely relate. I was just talking to my sister actually the other night about how, like, she wanted to go out and I wanted to go out too, but um, I told her, you know, I, I would like to go out, I just, I would feel guilty, like, because Joshua doesn't ever get to go out, and I don't know, it just doesn't seem fair to me. To, I don't know. Anywho, I'm actually going to use something from the Boxy Charm from December. I actually haven't used like anything out of here. I've used a couple things like here and there, um, but I just haven't got around to using anything. So I'm going to use the brush that came in it to set my under eye. It's a blush brush, but I it's too dense. I like would not use this for blush. Um, it is the Crown Blush Brush. It doesn't have a number or anything like that. It just says Crown, and it's super dense, which, I don't know, I think would be better for powder or baking. Whoa. Yeah. That actually works pretty good. I'm just going to bake my under eyes. I don't really bake anywhere else. I am going to try something a little bit different today that I don't averagely do. I'm going to tap off the excess, which goes everywhere, and just set everywhere else that I put concealer, and then whatever is left on my brush, I'm just going to set the rest of my face with. And now it's all up in my hair. I'm going to set that brush aside to use for something I'm going to try later and also to wipe away my bake. Um, I'm going to go do my eyebrows off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so I just finished my brows which are looking 
a little odd today. I don't know. I'm having like, do you guys ever just have weird brow days? I don't know. Uh, I think it's because my uh, brow product is drying out just a little bit. I'm using the ColourPop brow color in Redhead, and it's like their little paint pot, like their little I don't know pot of color. And then an angled brush that is from I don't know actually. <laughs> Uh, Coastal Scents, I think. I think this is the Coastal Scents angle brush. And uh, that's how I do my brows. I had a brow pencil from ColourPop that I really, really loved, but there's not very much product in those, and I ran out of it pretty soon. So I'm probably going to buy some more just because they're convenient and I like them. I can carry them in my makeup bag, and it's one less thing I have to carry. Um, now I'm going to... I'm going to do my eyes before I wipe away my bake, um, just in case of fallout, which with these eyeshadows I'm about to use, I never get fallout. These are actually from a previous BoxyCharm. It's by Winky Lux, and it's their kitten palette, and I'm obsessed with this palette. It, the colors in it are just amazing. Let me get it open. You guys can tell I use the crap out of this one, this one, this one, and sometimes that middle top one. Um, I need to like venture myself out a little bit more. I do use this one occasionally. I need to try that blue one. Like look at that. It's just so pretty. It's like grayish blue. But not today. I'm also going to use some brushes that I got from a BoxyCharm. I think I got these in the same BoxyCharm that I got this palette. Um, I can't remember. They are the Luxie miniature brushes like travel size brushes they're so cute and they're so soft so i'm gonna use those i'm gonna do my go-to look lately that i've been doing a lot i'm going to use this color right here which is called holographic which that is not hollow that's more like duochrome but you know the makeup term is holographic i'm going to put that on my lid mainly focusing on like the inner half of my lid and up a tiny bit. Um, my eyelids are pretty hooded, so if I don't bring the color up over my eye hood a little bit, it kind of doesn't show up when my eyes are open. It's a good little trick for anyone who has hooded eyes like myself. Like they're not horribly hooded, but when I look down, like if I open my eyes all the way, they're, they're pretty hooded. So I'm just packing that on. You guys should put in the uh, description box below how you guys deal with hooded eyes if you have hooded eyes like myself. Um, and then I'm going to take the fluffy brush that was in that little set. There was four brushes. I'm going to take the little fluffy brush. And I'm going to go into Cheshire, which is that beautiful, actually no, I'm going to go into Strut first, just as a transition shade up into my crease. And again, I'm just going kind of above my crease with this because first off, I'm using it as a transition shade. And I'm going to just buff that out like really, really a lot. Just buff that out a lot. Use the same on the other side. You know, something I really actually love, this is kind of off topic, but something I actually really love about that um, brow product that I use, it kind of dries down and it stays in place like all day. I'm not 100% sure if it's waterproof. Maybe I should test that theory. I feel like it is though because I've gotten in the shower with it on before and I swear it like goes nowhere. Like not that I have scrubbed at it or anything, but... I don't know, maybe it is. Now I'm just going back in. I am going to go in with that color Cheshire, which is the middle color on the bottom row. Like a deep burgundy purple color. And I'm going to concentrate that more 
on my crease and outer corner very very light handedly like I'm very using a very very light hand here and tiny circular motions And as many of you guys know, I film on my phone, so if the quality is not the best, I do apologize. I would like to film with a better camera, I just don't spend the money on better technology. <laughs> and I just built that up until it was semi-darkish. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye, again with a very, very light hand. These eyeshadows are extremely pigmented so it's not like you have to really work to blend them or work to get them to show up color wise are these brushes numbered i don't think they are oh they are so i'm using the luxie 227 t brush um to blend those colors into my crease and it's like the perfect size blending brush it's not too huge it's not too small it works for blending large areas, for blending small areas. I'm going to darken that up just a tad bit. Still using that Cheshire color. And again, I'm just focusing on the outer corners of my eyes. This is what I've normally, what I've been doing lately as far as my colors go. Now I'm going to go back in with that holographic. Uh, with the Luxie 213T brush, which is the brush I used originally, and I'm going to lightly blend those two colors together on my lid. Just very lightly going back in with the other brush, the 227 brush, and again blending back and forth. Now, I don't know, I find if I blend too much, the colors can kind of look muddy next to each other, and I don't think that's the fault of the colors, I think that's just what happens if you blend too much. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with that crown brush that I used, the crown blush brush, and wipe away my bake. Oh, and that's pretty much it for eyeshadow, guys. I am going to highlight my brow bone, but I... yeah, I'm going to use eyeshadow for that. Sometimes I like to use just my highlighter to highlight my brow bone. Okay, so that's pretty much it for that. I'm going to take the Lexi 207T brush, and it's a fluffy angled brush, and I'm going to go in with the color Purr, which is the opalescent pink color up here at the top left corner. Take that off, and I'm going to lightly... I like my brow bone with that. You don't need much. Mm, I think too much of a fluffy brush. But I'm gonna make it work. Tap off the excess. Guys, I don't know if anyone's ever told you guys this, but don't blow on your makeup brushes. <laughs> Especially if you're going to be using them on other people. I just don't recommend blowing on your makeup brush because whether you realize it or not, even if your mouth is dry, you are still spitting when you blow. You're still blowing out tiny bits of saliva that, you know, infect your brush. And people just don't understand how many germs are in the human mouth. Ugh. Okay. Now that I'm off that nasty topic, <laughs> look at this bag that I got from Ipsy like months ago. I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. I use it as a brush bag. Okay, now I'm going to take this Wet n Wild um, Fluffy Swoop, or I just said this, slanted, I don't know, it's like fluffy-ish, and I'm going to use my uh, Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I love this bronzer, I don't know if any of you guys ever used it, it's a little pricey for, um, or uh, being a drugstore. I don't know what I'm saying today, guys. Anyway, it's a little pricey in my eyes. It's like, I don't know, $12, $16, something like that. Um, but it's worth it. It smells like coconuts. I'm not even kidding you. It smells so strongly of coconuts, but not in a bad way that like lingers on your face. And the packaging, look how cute that is. The packaging is just super cute. 
I don't know. And they just come with this really weird, nobody ever talks about this, but it comes with this really weird, I thought it was a brush when I first saw it, but it's not. It's like, it's a sponge. It's, it's weird, like I don't think I'll ever use it, but this bronzer is like, it feels like butter when you touch it. Like, it's the strangest thing, I don't know, I guess that's why they call it a butter bronzer. I'm going to just swirl in that, take off the excess. And lightly contour slash bronze. Isn't that pretty? Ugh. Bronzer is like the perfect color and texture and it's uh supposedly this bronzer actually has moisturizing qualities in it which i totally could see it is it feels very moisturizing on the skin i've never had an issue with it making my skin look like it's dry or anything like that which i like get again i have really intense dry skin issues and i've never experienced a problem with this bronzer Ugh. My hair. I hope you guys actually enjoy watching these videos. Like, I just realized that I have like 2,000 views on one of my videos, which doesn't seem like a lot, probably, to some of you out there, but that feels like a lot to me. I don't know. And I just want you guys to know how much I really, really appreciate you guys watching my videos because this is something I actually really love to do. I would film more if I could afford to take the time to film more financially. Eventually it would be something that I would love to do full time if I could. But with all of the crap going on with YouTube right now, like no offense YouTube, but y'all are duping people. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like that would be something I'd be able to validate right now, being able to do, you know. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with an eyeliner, and I think I'm going to use this one. It is the Fierce Flicks, I think it's called, by Siake. It has the little stars all over it, and I don't know what color this is in because all the writing has, like, fallen off. It's just black. I don't know. And I'm going to line my top lash line with that very thinly, which is what I've been really doing lately. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm not the greatest person ever when it comes to wings. I, like I always do my right eye perfectly and then I get to my left eye and something's just off there. Like my eyes are not even or something. <laughs> Every dang time I mess it up. Maybe I should just stop caring so much. about how it's gonna look. Oh, I was covering that entire thing as I was going. See, I jacked it up already. Does anybody else have this problem? Like, look how thick that one is. And look at this one. It looks so good. Ugh, I don't know. I just have weird eyes or whatever. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do... What do I want to do next? What's next on the, on the agenda? Oh, you know what? I did get some products actually in the Boxy Charm last month. I haven't even tried yet. I got a blush kit from Real Her Be Fearless, Be Limitless blush kit. And 
open it for you. I even opened it like I literally have swatched it and that's it. This is what it looks like. Oh, I'm trying not to blind you guys. There are three colors in here and this one looks really shimmery but it's really pretty. I'm probably going to use this one but before I get to that let me show you the bronzer that they sent me which I don't know if I'll ever use. It is from Bronze Essentials Beauty Basics Bronzer Palette. This is what the outside looks like. And the inside, it looks beautiful and it feels really buttery. But with that shimmery in there, I just, I'm not a huge shimmer fan. Maybe, let's try it. Maybe should I just mix all three? We're going to go for it. Ah. Oh my god, guys. Do you see that fall? Look at that. Just, it's everywhere. Okay, I'm going to tap off a lot because that looks like a lot. <laughs> If you don't try it, you can't lose. I'm very lightly, lightly applying this because I don't know. Oh, that's very shimmery. Can you guys see that? Oh, I hate shimmery bronzer. I might as well apply some to the other side. Might as well match. Ugh, gross. It just ruined everything. It's going to ruin my whole day. I hate shimmery bronzer. I'm giving this to somebody else. Who can I give this to? My mom? No. I don't think. She's not the best with makeup, so she'd probably. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know who to give that to. Um, next, I'm going to go in with that middle shade from this kit right here um, the Be Fearless kit. Um, called Limitless, and I'm going to take, what brush am I going to take? What am I doing with my life? Alright, I'm going to use my crown brush, just their blush, like paper blush brush. Ooh, those are really dusty. Those are very dusty. Powdery. I'm going to lightly apply this because I'm paranoid now. Oh. Okay, I might have went a little overboard. Okay. <laughs> I'm having bad luck today, guys. Take some more of that. Okay. Still not as dark as this side. I kind of went a little overboard there. I actually do like those blushes. They are a little powdery, like they're not that creamy, um, but the color is really pretty and nice. I don't know. I'm going to have to bring my foundation down my neck because I don't match at all. <laughs> so just ignore that, <laughs> please. Um, then I'm going to take my highlight. What am I going to use today? I have really been liking this Becca Cosmetics um, Prosecco Pop highlighter. It's really a beautiful gold color. But today I think I'm going to go with something a little more cool tone. I'm going to use the Ofra highlighter in Beverly Hills. It has my name in it. I love this highlighter. As you guys can see, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've used the crap out of it. And I normally just mix all the shades together. I'm going to use the Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. I don't know why, but I really like this brush for highlighter. Um, maybe it's like the curve of it that I like, I don't know. I'm going to gently buff that onto my cheekbone. Oh, can you guys see that? It's just, this highlighter is just so pretty. Like, I mix all the colors together and it just turns out this beautiful, I don't even know, champagne? No, it's almost got a pinky tone to it, but look at that. It barely touched my face. I always get them so many compliments when I wear this highlighter. I'm just gonna highlight the tip of my nose and then my nose bone. <laughs> I don't know. Highlight my lip, cupid's bow, and I don't know if people still do this, but I like to highlight right above my brow. I 
I like to be shiny. I'm so shiny. I don't know if you guys like Milano, but I love that crab. Tumatilla, or whatever his name is. Did I say that right? I don't know. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the face, except I think I'm going to try something. I think I'm going to carve out my, <laughs> my, uh, uh, bronzer. I'm just going back in with that crown br blush brush. And I'm going to apply a little bit of my powder just under. I've never done this before, but I see people doing it and their freaking contour always looks amazing afterward. Now why not try it? Is that even? That doesn't look even to me. That's harder than it looks, guys. Okay. Oh, and for powder, I'm still using, and I probably st will always, till the day I die, use this powder. It is the original formula, formula of the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in the color Naturally Neutral. Love this. It's a little messy, not gonna lie, but it's like my all-time favorite powder. I like it better than pressed powders. It's just finely known enough that I just, I don't know, I just love it. Love it. Um, what am I forgetting? Oh, mascara. Okay, so for mascara, I'm actually going to use another item I got in my BoxyCharm. I'm going to use the, the Tardis Tarte Mascara. Mascara in... It doesn't say, it's just... The Tardis Tarte. I don't know if I'm saying that right, mascara. And I've never tried their mascaras. I've never tried anything from Tarte, actually, except for maybe like an Amazonian clay blush. Ooh, I like the brush on this. Look at that. It's very spiky. Let's see. Ow. Okay. A little sharp. I actually kind of like that. It's like not as intense as the mascara that I've been using, which is actually a drugstore mascara, which I really like. But I'll give it to this. I like this mascara. I'm very picky with my mascara, too. The mascara I've been using has been the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Mascara. This stuff's awesome. I hated it at first. Like, hated it. <laughs> I hated the brush because the brush is really, like, easily bendable like bendy sorry so apparently my camera just decided to stop recording because uh i don't know it's a jerk but i just finished my mascara and i used the tartliest tart mascara tartiest tart tartliest i don't know um and then i'm going to brush away that carve i did is that what you call it oh god it's really light now <laughs> Okay then. I actually like how that turned out. Like, I don't know. I don't even know if you guys like that. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm actually going to try one other product that I got in the Boxy Charm this last month. Uh, it is the Pretty Vulgar. It says liquid lipstick in the color My Lips Are Sealed, but honestly, I think I don't think this is a liquid lipstick in my eyes. Is really sticky and I don't think you guys can tell but it's super pinky which is not something I normally <laughs> would go for I don't know I don't know I kind of like it 
Um, but that is pretty much it. I'm gonna set my face with some setting spray, and I've been using a mixture of the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray, which I also got in a boxy charm. Boxy charm. I've been watching. Um, oh God, what's her name? Kathleen likes way too much. She says boxy charm, which is adorable. I don't know if you guys watch her, but I love the mist on this. I mainly concentrate that to my cheeks and forehead because it is really, it, it can be a little glittery. It's not, okay, I don't want to steer you guys away from it. It's not glittery per se, it's just shimmery. And that's a little much for me. And then I'm going to use the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. And I love this setting spray so much. I just breathed it in a lot. Whatever. And that's gonna be it. I hope you guys like the look I've been doing lately. It's I'm really digging it. And if you guys subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so as I was editing that video, I discovered well, I mean, I remembered um, if you guys notice a little watermark in the top one of the top corners of my video it's just the software that I use to edit my videos and as you guys know I'm cheap <laughs> uh, so I don't pay for the software it's free software and they just put their little watermark up in the corner so if you're ever wondering what I use to edit my videos that is it which I guess I'll just leave it in there because it saves me the trouble of putting it in the description box um, let me know if it bothers you guys. Uh, I, I kind of don't even notice it anymore. I don't know if you guys even noticed it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy the video anyway. And, um, oh, here's a little update on this lipstick. Uh, it's a liquid lipstick, but I don't, it doesn't dry down. It's definitely like a, uh, it feels more like a pigmented gloss to me. I don't know. I like it. I've had it on for about hours now and it's staying on pretty good so I don't know thanks for watching